Hi, Leo. I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my August horoscope report for you. All right, let's get started. So the good news is there's a lot going on for you this month. And Venus, let's start with Venus, okay? Let's start with love. Let's not forget that Venus is also money, all right? So it just cover love, money. But the underlying vibrational energy of Venus is always relationships. So, you know, and, I, you know, I really believe that why are we here? It's so we can connect with people in relationships because, you know, not, no matter what we're doing, then we're working with people. We're doing it in relationships. And even if it's with the most important relationship that we have in this life, and that's the relationship we have with ourselves, okay? So this is a great time just to focus on the outside relationships as well as inside, you know, your relationship with yourself. Because guess what? You know, when you meet someone that's like just insecure and vulnerable and they're acting out, well, you know, guess what? That's because they don't really feel good about themselves. So the better that you can feel about yourself and the more in tune that you can feel and the more that I know it's a cliche, but the more you can love yourself and like yourself and respect and honor and all that of yourself, then the better your relationships are going to be truly um don't take my word <laughs> just pick up any self-development book and they'll tell you the same thing anyway so relationships are great now the other what what with venus in your signs so but what's really terrific for leo this um, month is there's a trine there's a number of trines together on say around the fourth say around the 14th because I'm looking at the Greenwich time uh, and our local US time can be a little bit different you know by a day or half a day or whatever um, so the trine is like an easy passage it's like a door opens it's like you say you know this is what I would like my life to be and my life to be like and the door opens for you to walk through but make, make no mistake it's up to you to walk through, okay? And what that means is first, it's up for you to, to notice that the door is opening. Once you do that and you can go, yeah, that, you have a look in? Yeah, that looks good. That looks like it's meant to be for me. And you walk in. If you just let it go, then guess what? It's not going to stay open forever. It will close. And right now, that door opening is to do with Jupiter and Venus. Jupiter and Venus energy are perfect together. They're like on a similar vibratory level. The best way to work with the Jupiter, Jupiter Venus energy is to stay in the positive. The more that you can stay in the positive, the more that you can find gratitude in your life, the more that you can find things that are working rather than not working. You know, that old cliche, glass half full instead of empty. Um, then it's true because that vibrational energy of positive nature and um, gratitude, it's the same alignment as success. Yes. Okay. So um, so that's a, that's a good reason to sort of do that. But once again, you have to notice whenever you're going into that state of, as Bob Proctor would say, bless his heart, he's in spirit now, one of our, one of our angels, um, he say, you know, that paradigm kicks in and it goes, you know, oh, you can't do this or you're not worthy or, you know, this is, uh, this is great and not like just, you know, don't try or whatever. Um, that's a distraction. Okay, it's a distraction that you don't need. And it's voices that it's not even true. 
if you really sit down and go in, you know it in your heart of hearts that you are deserving. You do deserve it. You are worthy. And, you know, as Marissa Pierce would say, you are enough, okay? And so right now you have this opportunity where you can step into and it, it could be something from the past as well because uh, Jupiter is retrograde. Jupiter is big energy, you know, so it's massive. Uh, it's transformational and, uh, you know, it's abundant. So you want to sort of hook into that energy. It's in Mars. Whenever there's a trine, it's always in the same element. So you're a fire sign, um, not in Mars, it's in Aries. In Mars is the rulership of Aries. So they're both fire signs. So there's a lot of energy here. And if you can, like, get on that, sunbeam and you know walk that path there you know the sky's the limit really really it's up to you you just have to get clear about what it is you want and then you just take one step after the other to make it happen and when, if you have that clarity then it will happen even if you don't really believe it just keep moving forward with it okay um reach out to me i'll tell you believe it you know? <laughs> so just keep going so this is like great now what else is great is that that um jupiter is sitting in your area of of soul soul love soul purpose and so this you know anything that you do right now make sure it resonates with you make sure it resonates at that heart level okay and once you feel that because you know we really know if we if we just let all the clutter go all the distractions all those people that just want to interfere in our lives and the other people that think they know what's better for us than we know all that just like block it out let it go then we really know when we're attuned with something we know deep in our heart okay and our heart and soul and so once you get that feeling it's like bang go and that's when you connect with that feeling you put that out to the universe little bit of meditation is handy as well you want to go and listen to dr joe Jaspenza about that he's one of my favorite big fan <laughs> i have a big crush on dr joe <laughs> okay but he's material seriously his material is amazing so and you click into that and then your life will change and your life will change for the better okay so that's pretty sort of amazing thing that's happening now okay let's have a look at mars mars is in your career zone so you are likely a couple of things here you don't like to be busy whenever it's about mars um it's busy okay so you've got to get organized because particularly when it's about work i mean if you're not organized and mars can just have you spinning your wheels going around and around okay so once again we're like looking at just getting rid of the distraction rid of those pesty people who just want to hang out with you because you're so fabulous but don't really bring anything to the party right um so mars will move let's see when that's going to happen not until around the 20th so you know things are like really happening in august about your career if you're looking for a new job guess what it's going to come through okay just stay focused um just keep you know stay in your lane just keep looking at the at what you want the result to be okay not can i do this of course you can do it you can do anything you want you know you're a strong beautiful person once you make your mind up to something you want well guess what it's a done deal um so then when mars makes the move goes into the next sign this is a very social area for you and it's in and it's in an area of uh, communication I mean it's an area of friendships and social but it's a vibratory energy of communication because of what that particular section is 
relative to Leo. Um, of course, if you want to know how all this pans out in your, for you personally, um, then, you know, book a session with me, jenniferangel.com, and we'll have a look at your personal birth chart, okay? So when it moves into this area, it's going to be great just to connect with people, okay? And so you want to get out and be social. I mean, that's a given, isn't it? You're Leo, you know, like get that mane of hair going and just get out there and socialize. Um, so that's going to be really good. The sun is moving. It's going to move from your sign to the next sign, which is Virgo. So very more detailed oriented when the sun moves into that area. There's also going to be a, a new moon. Let's check out when that is around the end of the month, around the 27th. So the sun and the moon are going to be together and Mercury's moving in here as well. So this is a lot. This indicates that what happens particularly in that later half of August. Um, it's going to be very, very good for you financially. Heads up, this area is also about your self-worth, right? So, you know, as we were saying, yes, you deserve it. Yes, you are worthy of it. Don't entertain any other thought. Just go stop, push it away. Um. What else is going on? Let's have a look at the full moon. Okay, the full moon is going to be earlier in the month, around the 12th, and it's in your love zone. All right, so full moon energy is like closure time. It's like just gaining closure of anything. And once you do that, it just opens the gate up for something new to come in. So, um, it, you know, it can mean a couple of things. So let's just talk about, let's focus on love relationships. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So um, if you're in a relationship, if there's something that's not quite right, you probably will get a chance to deal with it during the full moon time because full moon is intense and it can bring the emotions up. It's the moon, so it's emotional energy. It's female energy being the moon. And us females just love to be emotional, if not all the time, at least some of the time. Heads up men, all right? Um so the other the other thing is if you're still holding on to a past relationship that's a dead gone buried just let it go okay like do a little full moon ritual whatever it takes and just like say bye 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 okay because there's amazing things happening because in this area also is saturn and saturn is about longevity so the next relationship you have it's gonna be permanent for you okay and leo's love that because you know you love to be connected and you love to be with someone that you adore door and you just like to you know hang out with you know it doesn't mean to say you have to be touched by the hip of course because you know you're independent as well so there's lots of great things going on for leo this month i do hope something amazing comes through for you you do deserve it and uh, i'm doing the horoscope videos monthly now and it's freeing my time up to do through the month more life and business coaching videos i hope you enjoy them and uh, if you're new to the channel then please subscribe and i'd love it if you could share as well okay thanks so much we'll see you again soon bye for now